Hi, it's Ari, welcoming you back again. This video is going to focus on the economics of growing and how the iGrow technology is impacting the Colorado growers in several different ways, which is making iGrow the logical option for these types of growers. For many of these very large-scale growers who are running thousands of lights, the incredible cost of electricity is a given and is absorbed in their overhead. They were all thrilled at the opportunity to lower their cost of operation through energy savings and with virtually no light replacement costs and maintenance. But after trialing with iGro and seeing higher quality plants and plants that were growing faster, the question to these growers then became, how can we use the iGro technology as a tool for better revenue generation? In order for all of us to get a better handle on this, we worked with the growers and broke things down into two cycles, vegetative growth and flowering. What the growers saw when using iGro in the veg stage was the following. More robust plants that produced significantly greater root mass, had closer internode spacing, and that were typically ready to move to the flower room two to 10 days faster. All these growers had been using T5s or metal halides, and iGro outperformed both and used significantly less power to do so. So let's analyze what we now have. The benefit of greater root mass is twofold. It accelerates flowering and also produces healthier flowers. Closer internode spacing equates to more flower sites, which equates to higher yields. And accelerating the time spent in the vegetative stage means an increase in the number of plant rotations through the year. As you've probably already figured out, each of these things significantly increases revenue for the grower. So let's look at the next stage. When the growers took these plants into the flower room and analyzed the results, the technology took on a completely different form as they figured out how to use the iGrow technology as a unique tool to produce higher yields and also make each and every plant a more valuable revenue generator. Here was the challenge. Using iGrow, growers were on average producing 65 to 75% yield of their 1,000-watt HID lights and flower. At first glance, looking at those production numbers, it would make no sense to change out a light that although producing higher quality flower sites and using significantly less energy, was at the end of the day producing 25% less yield. In this business, yield is king. However, being the very bright people they are, the growers quickly started analyzing the numbers beyond just yield and energy. And let me explain that to you. And what these growers explained to me, and how using iGrow to flower produces the highest grams per watt of any technology in the marketplace, and how this changed the economics of their operation, and how it can do the same for yours. So here's the math based on everything we've discussed so far. 1,000 watt HPS light produces on average 1,000 grams per harvest while 400 watt iGrow produces on average 700 grams per harvest. When comparing the two on a per watt basis, iGrow produces almost one and three times more grams per watt than an HID, not to mention producing a significantly higher quality flower site. Another way is a 1,000 watt HID light equates to 1,000 grams. 400 watt iGrow equates to 700 grams. If you added another iGrow light to that site, You'd still only be consuming 800 watts of energy, but now you'd be producing 1,400 grams. And again, this does not even factor in the higher quality and all the other advantages of iGro: No venting, no lamp replacements, and lower overall cost of operation. These growers also explain that they actually wouldn't even need a 2 to 1 ratio to maintain their current production levels. Adding just 25 to 35 percent more light would make it possible to have equal and even slightly greater yields while saving 50 to 60% in electrical consumption. The world's best growers just figure out how to change the industry by increasing yield, decreasing the cost of operation, and significantly improving their bottom line. And now, with iGro, you can do it too. If that wasn't mind-blowing enough, I want to give you even more to think about. As the industry changes and grows, trichome development and concentrate yield are becoming the most valuable part of the plant. What the growers saw that was truly amazing was that the iGrow plants were producing an incredible 20 to 40% more concentrate. 
As we discussed earlier, they attribute this in large part to the bigger leaves and closer internodes that were now producing more flower sites as they used iGrow in the veg stage. So for most growers having 75% yield, higher grams per watt, better quality medicine, and significantly more concentrate took the value of the plants to a whole nother level. It's important to note that to many of these growers, the iGrow plants were a new standard for them and the standard going forward. All their current data on timing, yields, and value are all being rewritten for every single strain they produce. iGrow is changing their business in a very profound way. And there are no roadblocks to make this happen like in the past. iGrow uses only 3.5 amps at 110 volts and 1.6 amps at 220. So every 1,000 watt light you unplug, you can plug in up to three iGrows. The cooling demand is still lowered 30 to 50%, and what was once unthinkable has now become reality. Growers found ways to use the benefits of iGrow to increase the number of plants they could grow in the same exact space. Racking, aisle sizing, attics, rooms not able to handle 1,000-watt fixtures, so many options that were in front of them, and they just needed a tool to take advantage of the space they already had. The astounding thing is that the energy savings, while significant, has become the gravy, while the meat and potatoes is the significant increase in revenue brought out by the jump in technology iGrow brings to the table. iGrow makes the grower's business more efficient and profitable with the same amount of space, while adding no additional cost or infrastructure to put it in place. In part two of this video, I will get into a little more detail what I've learned from growers in the field of plant science and about the methods used to prove the iGrow technology and make us the leaders in the industry.